Real estate for residential land and ag land are not the same, and it can get confusing on how these processes work. Christina Randall sat down with a local attorney about buying and selling farmland in North Dakota. When you buy and sell land in North Dakota, it's important to be able to navigate that process, especially if you're a farmer. As you would expect, there is a difference between residential land and agriculture land. Residential property has already been platted, so it's been broken out into lot one, block one, whatever the name of the addition is. Agricultural property is larger tracts. Agricultural property usually has not been platted, and so you're dealing with a larger legal description rather than lot one or lot two. Farmland is usually passed down from family member to family member, which can make the process a whole lot easier. However, if you are a new and young farmer looking to start your own farm, you may face some obstacles. One such obstacle you may face is even finding the proper land in the first place. And so I don't think the hurdles are legal. I think they're more market driven. They may own a lot of the land, but they also lease, especially the younger farmers. They start leasing out some land. And I would say, you know, a, a good tactic that I've seen be successful so for some of my clients is when you write the lease, ask the owners, hey, if you guys ever do decide to sell, would you consider giving me a, a first, first right of refusal? Another question people may ask is how do you know that the seller you're dealing with owns the land? I need to look at one of these. Okay, this is an abstract. This one has hundreds of pages. The abstract tells the story of the land. And it goes back all the way to the, be the beginning of the ownership by the federal government. The attorney will review the abstract. The abstract will have everything recorded when anything that impacted the land was recorded by the county recorder office. An interesting topic that tends to pique people's interest is adverse possession. Adverse possession is when someone who doesn't own the land can acquire the title of the land by taking it. And sometimes, if they take and use that land for a long period of time, that land becomes theirs. These cases don't happen frequently, but they do happen. We've had some go through our office that, that have adverse possession claims in them. And so, in order to, to successfully adversely possess land from a different person, you have to do it openly. Okay? You have to not be hiding the fact that you're occupying the land. And sometimes, if they take and use that land for a long period of time, that land becomes theirs. So what should farmers and future farmers do? According to Nias, succession and the future of a farm is extremely important. He suggests farmers should sit down and review the title to the land because sometimes it's easy to forget whose name is on that piece of paper. For KX News, I'm Christina Randall. Nias says farmers should have a plan ahead of time and know what they want to do with their land before visiting with an attorney.